Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 20th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the AND and OR logical operators and we've already seen the AND and OR logical operators and we know what they do but you know I just wanted to have a separate tutorial on these operators in this course. So the AND and uh, OR operators as you know by now are logical operators and uh, you know they are used for creating uh, complex conditions that you can you know uh, sort of implement using the where clause and the and operator makes it necessary for all conditions that you've joined in the you know final condition to be true while the or operator works even if you know any one condition that's there in the list of conditions evaluates to true and we're going to check out a couple of really simple applications of and and or i'm sure you guys have already you know worked quite a lot with and and or and you know uh, it might be a little boring for you to you know just see this tutorial in case you've understood and and or operators perfectly then you can probably skip the rest of the tutorial and you can move on in the course but uh, if you want to you know see some applications again then you can sort of stick with me for uh, another couple of minutes so let's get to the mysql workbench now so i'm going to create some really simple conditions and uh, firstly i'll use the select keyword and the star symbol because i want to you know see data from all the you know fields in the table and then i'll type in the from keyword in the name of the table which is employee and then on the next line i'll type in the where keyword and uh, you know the first condition that i would want um, you know uh, and the first condition that I would want to implement is uh, that the salary must be, let's say, greater than uh, 15,000, right? And uh, the next condition that I would want to implement is that sa the age of the employees should be less than uh, 35, or let's make it 30, right? And uh, since I want both these conditions to evaluate to true, I would have to put in the AND operator here, right? And uh, if I would have wanted any one to evaluate to true, then I would have used the OR operator. When I press Control Enter, I see that Howard has age 29, which is just less than 30, and Howard's salary is also greater than 15,000, right? And Nick has age 25, which is less than 30, and Nick's salary is also greater than 15,000. So you would see no record in the result set for which the age is uh, greater than 30 and you would also not see any record uh, for which the value of salary is less than 15,000, right? So both conditions, you know, would have definitely been uh, checked and uh, the result set would only contain records that satisfy both conditions. The next uh, keyword is uh, the OR operator that we're gonna check out and the OR operator makes it necessary for any one condition to be true, right? An application of the OR operator, well, you know, let me just modify this to OR. So now you would see values that satisfy either of the two conditions. So even employees with age greater than 30 would figure in the list and even employees with age, you know, with salary less than 15,000 would figure in the list, right? And uh, I'll press control enter, there you go. This time we see that uh, Roger with age 32 is also in the list and uh, let's find out an employee with salary less than 15,000. Well, we don't have to look too far ahead. John with age 22 has a salary of 22,000, sorry, tw has a salary of 12,500, which is less than 15,000, but it's in the list because uh, we've used the OR operator and uh, John satisfies one of the two conditions, that is John's uh, age at least is less than 30, right? So that's it about the AND and OR operators. I'm gonna see you in the next tutorial in which we discuss something important for sure. And uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.